Remember this bear family? We shared this video right around this same time last year. A mom and her four cubs hanging out in a family's backyard in Bram. At one point, Mama Bear even came right up to the window. Well, now, one year later, as Jennifer Merrily shows us, the bears are back and bigger than ever. All as I saw through the window was black, and I was like, that's a bear. It's a sight Marnie Steltz has seen in her Bram backyard before. Look outside. And just like last year, she stayed inside and started rolling. And I could see three cubs, and I'm like, oh, it's a mama triplets. I'm like, oh, I wish it would have been the quadruplets. And she moved, and the cubs moved, and there was four of them. The sow brought her yearlings back to the Steltzes. A car would make them run, and then they'd come right back. The bears were They're just right, right under the feeder. They were just eating. They were enjoying the dead sunflower seeds laying on the ground, and they just were grabbing handfuls and just scooping up and eating them. It was so cute. And their little paws are just getting so big. And yeah, it was awesome. That's the common thread in a lot of these bear interactions is that people put out bird seed. And people specifically put it out for the birds, but you can't pick the species that come in. Tim Marion with the DNR says mama bears don't go far with cubs or yearlings, so it's not surprising they'd return to an area with a food source this time of year. They're waking up, and the first thing on their mind is food. And, uh, and it's an easy pickings. There's a lot of people out there that feed the birds. He recommends never getting between a mama and her cubs. And if you don't want to see bears, don't feed the birds from April to November. So cute. <laughs> Steltz is glad the family paid her a visit. They're getting close to that time. Where she's going to push them out of the nest. So we don't know what we'll see after this. This could be our last. In Bram, Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. The DNR asked people to report bear sightings in parts of the state. They are tracking how far south bears are moving in Minnesota, and you can find a link at WCCO.com.